Hello guys, AR15 guy. So, got a couple of things to go over. Um, one of them is we, in Oregon, have some things that we need to be careful of. I would say anybody who has an AR or a firearm of any sort that has a capacity above or has the ability to handle capacity above 10 rounds, get your above 10 round capacity magazines soon. Um, I do believe that uh, legislation in Oregon is going to at minimum probably try and ban um, anything higher than 10 rounds uh, and so get those purchased get that taken care of. Uh, second thing for Oregonians uh, any of you that are watching this channel we need to be careful of is the uh, assault, rifles, assault rifles ban. I don't I think that's less likely to happen, but something we need to keep an eye out. So if you have been wanting to purchase a AR or do an AR build or another AR build, whatever the case may be, might want to get out there, get them purchased now, and get it thrown in the safe and build it later. At least uh, with the lower, they're in fairly inexpensive, and you don't have to worry uh, once if that ban goes through. At least everything that I'm seeing now is that it won't be a retroactive. The third thing that we need to keep an eye on is Kate Brown, our lovely piece of trash governor, has decided that she wants to try and push through. In the state of Oregon, for those of you who don't live in the state of Oregon, if you purchase a firearm and you do the background check and within three days they can't tell your eligibility for that firearm, the gun shop can and then at that time go ahead and sell you the firearm. You have to wait three days for them to get it squared away, but if they can't get it figured out within three days, then you can at that time, go the by law, the firearms uh, dealer can then at that point sell it to you. Well, uh, Oregon, all of our background checks go through the state police. So what she is trying to do is trying to push through that if the state police cannot verify your information, then they can hold a, your application and your ability to purchase that firearm indefinitely. So with no timeline, basically, it's a fiat ban um, if they can't you know because who's to say that the state police are going to be honest about that under when it comes to firearms so we need to keep an eye on that and fight that tooth and nail uh, because federal law says three days so uh, you would think that federal law would trump huh, trump uh, state law but in this case it may not and it could take years, you know, a couple of years for us to do anything about it. So just keep an eye on those things. Uh, the other thing I want to go over is I have got my hands on a Springfield rifle. I believe it's the 1903 A1 um, in 338. I will get it out uh, probably in the next video. Show it off. And it, I'm go, I've got to put a new stock on it, and um, I'm going to do some other minor upgrades to it. The stock that's on it is set up for uh, open sights. And so if you put a scope on it, you have to raise your cheek up to be able to look through the scope. So I'm going to get one, a stock that is meant for a scope for that particular action and get it glass bedded and uh, see how it shoots maybe have it rebarreled we'll see and go from there and that'll probably take over as my new elk rifle then what I'll do is switch over to my 300 short mag you guys have seen that in some of my videos and I want to make that my long range rifle so I'll be working on that as well so we'll see how that all goes but other than that those are kind of what's in the in the pipeline like I said next video I'll probably bring out the 338 kind of show it off a little bit and uh, we'll go from there and um, 
I'm going to try and get videos out every week. Like I said, I've got a good camera set up. Probably next week's video, um, I should be able to shoot it with a different camera and show you my new camera setup. So, anyway guys, hope you have a great night. Thank you for tuning in. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. I am going to have a giveaway soon. I am getting close to 500 subs and so once we hit 500 subs I would like to do a giveaway. So I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet um, but I've got some some good ideas. So anyway guys please like and subscribe and have a great night.